Oh, hey guys, um, where am I? The camera doesn't seem to be on me. Loves 96.9 FM, apparently. <clears throat> Although, there isn't a 96.9 in Austin. The, today's venture in recent radio updates that took place uh, between December 26th and January 3rd brings us to Boston, Massachusetts. Here we go. Here's my list of things that happened in Boston, Massachusetts. That's right. We're talking about the the microcosm formats that occurred on 96.9 between January 2nd and January 8th. I forgot to put the date on when that station debuted. <laughs> January 2nd, um, WTKK 96.9, the not so big talker, <laughs> signed off. Wow, what a surprise. Um, remember, everyone, FM is for music, not for talk. Leave the conservative, um, liberal bashing format on AM where it belongs. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so finally, we got music on a radio's dial on, in, on 96.9. But what format was it that took place? Well, if you read my list, you'll see the, that hip-hop was the first format chosen. And it called itself Power 96.9. Was this the permanent format? Mm, not really, because this hip-hop station, which seemed to be a completely really unique sounding hip-hop station because it actually played hip-hop music it wasn't it didn't play any remixes of pop tunes or anything this didn't last long on January 2nd 2013 next format Ooh, there's another format on this oh yeah Nova FM 96.9 now I didn't get to listen to this one but I got to listen to power 96.9 Nova turned out to be the best stunt of the entire group because it was dance. Now this was to compete with the wonderful uh, Evolution 101.7. What a great radio station. I'm trying to check it out more and it's kind of hard to get the stream up. I heart radio is so cheap. Well after all it's owned by Clear Channel so what are you gonna do? Um, until Clear Channel and Cumulus starts wising up and try to actually spend money on their stations, which they don't, their web player is going to be as cheap as their company is. No offense to any employees that have the unfortunate uh, um, to work there. <laughs> so anyway, um, so it was dance. I wish I got to listen to it when it was dance. That would have been really cool. It was January 3rd. Next format? That's right, we're still going on here. I got to listen to this format when I was headed to Luby's, uh, I'm assuming on Saturday because I usually go out to eat on weekends, January 4th. Um, it was called Mike FM, We Play Anything, as an homage to recent deceased Mike 93.7 which played anything in the Boston, Massachusetts area, I'm assuming. There goes someone who hasn't done all his homework. That would be me. <laughs> haven't done all my homework on the Boston, Massachusetts landmark. <laughs> so anyway, um, I heard a good song there. I thought, hey, maybe this is the new format. This sounds nice. I was listening to it on um, TuneIn Radio while I was going down some cool country road in Austin. But when I turned on the next, um, two days later, apparently, January 6th, Mike had signed off. It turned into 96.9 The Bone, classic rock that really rocks. And I don't really care too much for this next stunt that they pulled off, because as much as I like classic rock, I'm not a big fan of metal, which is kind of what this station was. It played a lot of grunge and heavy metal for a classic rock radio station. It must have focused on the hair bands of the 80s, which kind of seems kind of one-dimensional. Oh, well, what do you expect from this weird, um, weird century or decade? Um, uh, let's see. Okay, next format. 
Hot FM 96.9. Whoa, wait. That's the permanent format. Ah, WTKK is Hot Pop AC. Yeah, I know. They're, <laughs> um, they call it a rhythmic AC, but I decided since everything is basically the same format in this weird decade, I decided why not just combine, why don't I just make up a new format for what these stations really are. They're hot pop AC formats. <laughs> they call them the Rhythm of Boston. Not so much the rhythm as much as they should just call it today's hit music. <laughs> this will give um, Boston four pop stations. Okay, we got Amp 103, uh, I mean 103.3, Amp Radio, which was originally Oldies. Then we got uh, Mix 104.1, which is a hot AC station, but might as well be another hip music station. Um, that station was on 98.5. I even have an air check of it debuting on uh, 98.5 back in the 1990s. I got that from FormatChange.com. Oh, yeah, and you can also listen to the debut of Hot 96.9 on FormatChange.com. So, um, what do I think? I think the station is just as generic as the pop stations. They should call themselves just Today's Hit Music with a, just a few old songs mixed in. <laughs> they want to label themselves as a rhythmic AC, but apparently the station doesn't, just like a clear channel station, doesn't know what a rhythmic AC actually is. Because they're playing exactly songs you can hear on pop stations. Kind of like what KTU is doing you know, to impersonate Z100.3. KTU is on 103.5 in New York. Z100.3 is their sister station. So anyway, um, 969 is not a clear channel station. It is a greater media radio station. Greater media is a different company from clear channel. So this is the new format. Hot FM 96.9 WTKK. A rhythmic AC or hot, um, hot pop AC. <laughs> what did I think of some of the stuff I heard on um, the format change? Not a lot. It just sounds like a hit music station. It's kind of, it was kind of boring. It sounded like everything else. Nothing special. So, yeah. Here's my list again. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'll leave you with my list of unique formats being wasted on just another continuous hit music station. <laughs> oh yeah, they also have to compete with Jammin' 94.5. <laughs> There's my list. Sinking like the Titanic. <laughs>